done this day kalpana here in this video we are going to solve a differential equation of m dx plus m dy equals to zero form so let's get started problem solve y into 1 plus x inverse plus sine y into dx plus x plus log x plus x cos y into dy equals to zero solution given differential equation y into 1 plus x inverse plus sine y into dx plus x plus log x plus x cos y into dy equals to 0. Consider the equation 1 which is of m dx plus n dy equals to 0 form which is of m dx plus n dy equals to 0 form. By comparing these two, we will get m equals to this one and n equals to this one, right? Where m equals to y into 1 plus x inverse plus sine y and n equals to x plus log x plus x cos y. Okay. If partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x, then we can say that the given differential equation is an exact equation. So first we will find the partial derivative of m with respect to y and partial derivative of n with respect to x. Partial derivative of m with respect to y equals to dou y dou y of m that is y into 1 plus x inverse plus sine y. This equals to here we are doing partial derivative with respect to y. So we will treat x as constant and also 1 is also constant. Right. So you can write this as dou y dou y of y into 1 plus x inverse plus rho y dou y of sine y. This equals to since 1 plus x inverse is constant. So you can write it outside the derivative. Okay. We'll find derivative for y. Not for 1 plus x inverse. Since 1 and x inverse are constants. Okay. Plus dou y dou y of sine y. This equals to 1 plus x inverse into dou y by dou y plus derivative of sine y with respect to y is cos y. This equals to 1 plus x inverse. Derivative of y with respect to y is 1 plus cos y. So partial derivative of m with respect to y is 1 plus x inverse into 1 is 1 plus x inverse plus cos y. Now we will find partial derivative of m with respect to x dou n by dou x equals to dou by dou x of n for n equals to x plus log x plus x cos y. So here y is treated as constant. So here cos y is a constant. Okay. This is equals to dou by dou x of x plus dou by dou x of log x plus dou by dou x of x into cos y. Here cos y is constant. This equals to, you can write this as dou x by dou x plus dou by dou x of log x plus you can separate the constant 
and write the above as cos y into dou by dou x of x is equal to dou x by dou x is 1. Derivative of x with respect to x is 1 plus derivative of log x is 1 by x plus cos y into you can write this as dou x by dou x is equal to 1 plus you can write 1 by x as x inverse plus cos y into derivative of x with respect to x is 1. So, you will get into 1. Therefore, derivative of n with respect to x is One plus x inverse plus cos y into one is cos y. So here dou m by dou y equals to dou n by dou x, right? Therefore, dou m by dou y equals to dou n by dou x. From this, we can see that one is an exact equation. The general solution, since the given equation is an exact equation, you know that the general solution of 1 is given by integral over x m into dx plus integral of terms of n free from x into dy equals to integral constant c. So, first we will find this integral over x m into dx equals to here integrating we will be integrating m with respect to x treating y as constant. So, this equals to integral of y m that is y into 1 plus x inverse or you can write x inverse as 1 by x plus sine y into dx. Since we are integrating with respect to x and treating y as constant, here y and sin y are constant and obviously 1 is also a constant. Okay, this is equal to integral y into 1 plus 1 by x into dx plus integral sin y into dx. So, let's write the constant outside the integral. We'll get y into integral 1 plus 1 by x into dx plus sin y into integral dx. Okay. Integral, sorry, y into integral 1 plus 1 by x into dx plus constant into integral dx. This is equals to y into integral. You can again split this as integral 1 into dx plus integral 1 by x into dx plus the last term will be as it is. Since we know that integral 1 into dx equals to integral dx equals to x plus integral constant c and also integral 1 by x into dx equals to log of mod x Okay, by applying these formulas, we'll get y into integral 1 into dx is x plus integral 1 by x dx is log mod x. Plus sine y into integral dx is x.
equals to y into x plus log mod x plus x sin y. Which is equals to xy plus y log mod x or y log x plus x sin y. Consider as 2. Now find the second one. Integral law terms of n free from x into dy. So find the terms of n which is free from x, which are free from x. So we don't have any term free from x. First term contains x, second term also contains x and third term is also containing x. So we don't have any terms of n free from x. So we'll take it as 0 into dy equals to 0. Consider as 3. Therefore, the general solution of 1 is 2 plus 3 equals to c from this. Okay. The result from integral n dx is this one which is 2 plus terms of integral of terms of n free from x is 0. That is 3. Okay. Then xy plus y log x plus x sine y plus 0 equals to c. That is xy plus y log x plus x sine y equals to c is the required general solution. So we have seen a problem from exact equation in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.